So very innovative and exciting new procedure in cardiology is called as TMVR. TMVR stands for Transcatheter Mitral Valve Replacement. So now we know once a mitral valve which is one of the valves in the heart on the left side. So this is mitral valve if we see the uh, heart picture. Uh, now it may get damaged because of many diseases. Rheumatic heart disease is very common. Normally if the mitral valve is severely damaged, it is leaking or it is very complicated shrunken, then the, the treatment is surgical mitral valve replacement. So there are many patients who have undergone surgery and got the mitral valve replaced. So now once any surgery on the mitral valve is done and some valve was placed, now that valve also has a natural decay history. It may also decay after 10 years. If previously already surgery done on mitral valve, but now that valve has gone totally damaged, is, is, is not working, not functioning properly, then what are the options? Either we go for a repeat surgery. Now having a repeat cardiac surgery is too morbid and mortality also is very high. So this procedure, TMVR, is meant for those patients who have undergone previous mitral valve surgery and a bioprosthetic valve was placed at a mitral position, but now that valve is not functioning. That valve is leaking or has shrunken and is putting a lot of strain on the heart and the second cardiac surgery is going to be highly life-threatening, is very risky. So, this is a procedure which will salvage such patients which otherwise had no other option. They were just going and waiting for their slow death because second surgery couldn't be done and if we don't offer them anything, their lifespan is six months to one year. So this procedure has paved the way to save such patients, not only to save such patients, but also to give them a very good quality of life. So this is one procedure which I have done uh, about few weeks back only. I have done many but this is one I am showing which has been done uh, off late in 10 to 20 days prior. So uh, it is a intricate procedure, a complex procedure but results are really overwhelming. So this is how we actually uh, take the route to reach that mitral valve. We go through a venous side, a puncture is made on the femoral vein in the groin and through this we take a catheter we do a interatrial septal puncture so now there are two atria left atria and right atria this is this is the two upper chambers of the heart so this septum needs to be punctured because we need to take that valve through this defect through this punctured area and only then we can reach the mitral valve so this is a, a puncture done at the interatrial septum. It has to be very precise. It has to be done under a special echocardiography probe. We move on to the next step. Uh, we go from a femoral vein, intra, uh, inferior vena cava, right atrium, and then through that puncture into the left atrium, the upper chamber, and then cross this valve. Now this valve is crossed here from LA, from the upper chamber on the left side to the lower chamber on the left side to LV and a catheter is placed. We need to have this access because we are planning to deploy the valve here. This is that valve which is dysfunctional. And once we have done, we have created this passage, this wire now comes up through the same route that right atrium, interatrial septal puncture, left atrium and into the left ventricle and this is that valve which is, which is not functioning and which we are we, we are planning to replace uh, non-surgically everything is non-surgical there is no cut no incision on the body no blood loss although patient has to be anesthetized because we have to have a transesophageal eco prop once we have done so that puncture has to be widened that interatrial septal puncture has to be widened because it's a bulky valve. Through a small puncture, it will not go. We make to have a, a bigger hole into the interatrial septum. And then, once we have done that, we take the valve. 
over this wire we take the valve see now this is the valve this is the valve and there is a rim which is a rim of a previously done surgery on the mitral valve once we are exactly in position our next job is to dilate this valve so that uh, this rim contains a new valve the previously dysfunctional valve will get squistered or squeezed beneath this rim and a newly functional valve which is there inside this rim will start functioning immediately it we, we take some time before we really start inflating uh, this rim is crimped over a balloon once we are sure of a position we inflate the valve like this so this step shows that this valve is getting inflated this is a, a tricky step we have to be very very careful very very precise here so this is now the valve is deployed see this rim contains a new valve and now the new valve starts functioning immediately and the previous dysfunctional valve is treated we, we check everything on echo everything looking fine this is a new valve in position and uh, patient's hemodynamics the strain on the heart immediately improves and this is how it looks uh, a valve deployed into the heart with no surgery no incision no blood loss and patient is out of uh, ventilator in next two hours so this patient did very well and in three to four days patient was actually discharged his all symptoms patient was not able to lie down patient was totally out of breath he was not able to conduct any regular activities with this all the strain on the heart and the lung pressures were gone were, were taken down once we treated this valve and patient was absolutely symptom free and discharged in third or fourth day now doing all routine activities without any symptoms this is the beauty of this procedure it is highly patient friendly procedure but in specific indications we can plan out this procedure and give lot of uh, a benefit and uh, treatment uh, to to such kind of patients